Good morning, this is Linda. Welcome to my channel another time. Today we're going to be building a small deck out back by the dry pour concrete slab. And um, I hope you'll enjoy. Be sure to prepare your area. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and uh, weed eat these weeds and get them out of the way so I can lay some landscape barrier down. Okay, so now you can see that I've gotten almost all the weeds out. There are a few scragglers, and I'm not too worried about it because there's landscape fabric down there, and I'm just going to put another layer on top of that. And any weeds that will come up after that, I'll spray with white vinegar and uh, dish soap because it kills it quite quickly. Now, I don't anticipate this project to take very long to build because it doesn't need to be level. I mean, it's going to be level because this ground back here is pretty much level, but it's not going to be level to the T. And um, I'm using scrap, and I just want it to look nice and be sturdy. going to go right up against the dry pour concrete slab. And I'm going to be using landscape pins to hold it down. You can get them at Walmart. You'd think I never shop at Walmart as much as I talk about how I don't like Walmart. It's not that I don't like Walmart. It's that I don't like the way the super Walmarts are set up because when you're if you have any health conditions or any any you know like we have a disabled daughter it makes it really difficult to take her in that store parking is is horrible and it's always so crowded so It's just much easier to go to a smaller store. But it is a mess out here. And I have never seen anything like that. There's a dead frog in there with a little frog on its back. Whatever killed it. Killed them. Anyway... I gotta get that little guy out. One, two, three, four! So I am making sure that the frame is level. So I'm squaring it and leveling it as I go. I'm using some little concrete bricks patio bricks to uh, square it off like I said this is temporary or to level it off this is temporary <clears throat> it's not a permanent deck but it gives us a way to uh, determine if this is what we want here or if we want concrete so I'm going to space my um, two by fours along the bottom with this board that I cut so that I don't have to mark them all out. And um, I'm just going to go from mark them like that and space them that way and screw them in. And that way I know I've got them in the exact spot they need to be. pickets, the rounded corners, cut them off, and then uh, go ahead and 
go ahead and get them knocked down. because I have um, some, uh, I have an appointment to, in a little while. And so I need to hurry and get this finished so that I can. One, two, three, four. So this is actually day three and I wanted to show you the progress. The weather is rainy today so I'm not going to be working on this deck today. I didn't cut off the rounded edges um, because I'm just going to put a little trim board up there. As I said it's only temporary, a couple of years. and. Um, so far, the cost of this has been minimal, under $100. Like I said, we used fence pickets, and we had um, those left over from a fence build we did. I used two by fours that we had. Um, half of them we already had, the other half I had to buy. And they're pressure treated, ground contact, uh, two by four boards. I put in um, the landscape fabric or weed barrier cloth and uh, I will put a board around the edge, a trim board around the edge of the front and the back. I do have to put another support board in the front of the deck out there by the concrete and um, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to be sanding it and staining it or painting it. I do have those three boards that are um, painted because they came off of another project that I worked on. It was an old chicken coop, believe it or not. But they've held up reasonably well. These boards, if you don't get them painted and don't get them sanded, they, they warp. But they do warp back into place if you get them tacked down good. So, that being said, that's my plan, and when the uh, deck is ready to sand, hopefully, probably not until next week because it's going to rain. I may end the video here and bring you back and show you the finished product um, because, like I said, the weather's going to suck until, <laughs> until Monday or Tuesday. Because we have storms moving in tomorrow, tonight, Sunday. I, I just don't know. There's going to be high wind on Sunday. Possible storms. So we'll see um, however it goes. But listen, if I do end the video here, I want you to please know that I thank you for watching it to this point. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't. And wait for the finished product video. I'll do it probably as a short and um, just watch for it. Thank you and see you on the next one.